books with a number on it can only mean one thing. But there again, maybe it doesn't. Anyway, this is the box number 71041. And the Diecast Masters stickers indicate that this is a Diecast Masters model. Opening up the outer shipping carton and out comes the box inside. And as we can see straight away, it's another model from the Transport series. It's an international HX520 tandem tractor with a 53 foot flatbed trailer. And the box has got some details about the real international tractor and some pictures of other tractor trailer combos. We slide out the inner box oh so smoothly and we're full of excitement as the time for releasing the model draws near. First out of the box is a small booklet and it's a mini brochure of the Diecast Masters Transport series. This is the 2019 edition and already there's a large number of models in the brochure. Next we can get back to the here and now and lift the lid. It's a plastic former and contained within it are some parts and we'll get those out shortly. But first we'll go for the main deal and we'll get out the tractor. That's then followed by the trailer and the other small parts contained in the plastic former lid. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mall. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. There are two exhaust stack extensions which have to be fitted and you get a choice of design. This one is the bent exhaust pipe and to fit it you push it down into place. The alternative design is a straight exhaust pipe extension. So it's up to you. Are you a bent pipe kind of person or a straight pipe kind of person? We'll go for bent. The other part to be fitted to the tractor is the oversized load sign and that pushes down into a couple of holes. After that we join up the tractor and trailer and the kingpin of the trailer just drops into the fifth wheel hole. The International is on its back so let's look at the detail and you can see the engine and gearbox. And there are nicely modelled plastic tanks on either side. As we go towards the back the suspension and transmission are modelled. And there's a different tyre design front and rear. A nice touch on the model is that the mud flaps are soft material. Up on the roof we have a nice light bar and oversized load sign. And there are also air horns. The visor detail is decent as are the mirrors. A good looking part of the model is the front grille with its tiny badge on top. The lights are also a convincing part of the model. And there's a nice big piece of chrome work at the bottom. There's more nice chrome work either side of the cab doors. And there's some good looking detail on the cab doors. Below that there are textured steps. And a nice small touch on the model are the highlighted filler caps on the tanks. The plastic wheels look decent. Behind the cab we've got a big wall of chrome work. And this is modelled in metal and it's a nicely textured part. The wheel arches also look good and these are modelled in plastic and the rear wheels have got some nice detailing inside. At the back there are painted lights and the mud flaps have got some graphics on. Moving to the trailer and the first thing to say is that it's actually a heavy part. It's nearly all metal and weighs in at one pound or half a kilo. And looking underneath the kingpin can be fitted in a variety of positions. The heavy duty frame of the trailer is modelled in metal and that gives it its heavy weight. And the rear axle components are modelled and there are decent road tyres. The sidebars on the trailer are one of the few plastic parts. Again it's good to see that the mud flaps are made of a soft material. Let's get the trailer right side up. And the headboard is a metal part and there's some nice detailing at the bottom of it. The trailer edges have got graphics and there are also model tie down holders along one side. 
The deck has got a surface with timber patterns. The red and white graphics continue on the sidebars. And a storage box has been modelled. The chrome wheels are good looking. At the back the lights are modelled, but there's no number plate because this is a generic model. Starting again with the international and the rear axle spin freely. And you can see that the range of movement on the steering is fairly limited. Out onto the Cranes Etc Super Highway, and the HX520 rolls well in a straight line. Let's put the steering on and see if it will round the turn. And it does, but only fairly slightly. The model does have a nicely engineered opening hood, and it will hold any pose that you set. And you can see there's a modelled engine made up of a number of different coloured components. When you're done looking, give it the thumb. Moving on to the 53 foot trailer, and as you would expect, the rear axles spin freely. The landing legs can be lowered and it's been modelled as a folding mechanism. But this does mean that when it's down, it's at the correct height, and it's nice and stable. Let's now try to model out with some loads and we'll start with a large boom section. And as an alternative load, let's try some long concrete sections. This is another nice addition to Diecast Masters Transport Series. It's a decent combination of detail and functionality, and it's a useful utility model in terms of it carrying loads to support other models. So if you want a US tractor and flatbed trailer, this one is very good. Mm -hmm. 